Today we're going to look at implant scanning with PrimeScan. In the actual system itself, in the administration, this is where you can fill in your prescription details. Maybe you've identified you're doing screw retained, maybe it's cement retained. And then you can identify the scan body type. Now, I always recommend work with your laboratory when you are sending cases to the lab in terms of which scan body they prefer you to use. Now, in this particular case, I'm highlighting here that we are using the IO flow, but just below that is the other option. And that's because your lab might have a preferred scan body for you to use. Uh, most are autoclavable, which is nice. So just be sure that you consult with them uh, based on the workflow that you prefer. Uh, then we can identify things like the material and the final shade for the actual case itself. Now personally what I like to do when I'm getting ready for doing an implant scan is I like to place the scan body uh, in the patient's mouth as step one. So I remove the healing cap, the healing abutment, whatever might be currently in place for the patient. And I remove that uh, and then I put the actual scan body in place. Now as soon as I put the scan body in place, I do prefer to take an x-ray because I do want to make sure that it's been fully seated properly. The same way we once upon a time did with traditional impression coping. Things. So once you see here is the scan body scan. Okay, so that's what that little white cap is. Most important things in an Atlanta scan, especially, is that flat surface. And that same goes for a lot of other scan bodies as well. There's usually some type of, type of a notch or a flat surface, and that's most important. Otherwise, your usual contacts and things like that are also key. Now you can see here I've highlighted that we have a green check mark on our scan body lower, and that's because it is stitched properly to my lower jaw in this particular case. That means that it knows that this is the exact same arch because it has similar landmarks like the teeth around it, things like that. So you can see that kind of ghost image here that I'm pointing out of the actual scan body. Now in terms of scanning itself, I recommend same scan strategy that you typically have for prime scan. You can check out my other video that um, kind of relates to this. That said, once one thing that I do recommend with a scan body is kind of start at the base of the scan body where the uh, actual implant connection is so that you'll have the best, most seamless workflow. Now here what I'm showing in the edit model stage, this is quite impressive. Um, when it comes to the actual scan, you can see it's got 20 millimeters of depth field of view when it comes to prime scan. So you're actually looking kind of inside the channel there, which is really impressive. I like to scan the actual working arch with no scan body present or no healing cap present because it gives the best emergence. Now you can see here, I just pointed out there is some missing data there uh, from that uh, premolar that obviously the operator should have uh, actually scanned. But I do usually recommend for your actual uh, lower or upper arch, depending on which case you're doing, have the actual healing abutment or healing cap out. Uh, as this will give the lab more uh, workflow for the actual uh, emergence profile. Thank you so much. Hope this is helpful.